Hi, I'm Katherine Ambrose, and this is an iBox. This is the lockbox that we use in the Wichita real estate market, and in fact, in most real estate markets across the country. A greatly improved lockbox from the ones that we started out using in the 1970s and 80s. In fact, I even had one of the little silver keys for the ones in the late 80s. Uh, today's box is completely electronic, and it's, it's internet-based. It records the user that opens it the moment that they use the box. Realtor members have to be in good standing in order to have a device or an app and a device for their smartphone in order to operate the lockbox. So they'll have a confirmed appointment to show your home before they use the box. They'll use it during the time that they have been approved for and they'll access the little key box inside that can hold one or two keys. And uh, just a tip from experience, it's best not to use a key tag or key ring just to have loose one or two keys in there and that's it. Uh, these boxes, uh, the cost is about $75 depending on what city the realtor lives in and they can buy them at the Board of Realtors. There's a newer box that's around $110 or more. Looks pretty much exactly the same but it's just a little bit thinner and a little bit longer and it can possibly hold a little bit more inside the key box like a key card for certain types of buildings or gates. Anyway, very secure system. Ideally, you want this on your front door. It's a steel box and it's encased in a heavy, thick rubber, so it's soft and smooth on your door. And if it's on the front door, we get a little bit of protection in the winter here from ice. But the main thing is that it makes it easy for the realtors to find so that the beginning of your showing doesn't start with a little bit of chaos. There's been many times when I've been in high heels and had to go through mud or go through rocks to access a lockbox that was on a water spigot or stand on my tippy toes and sometimes not even able to reach a lockbox that was uh, installed up high on the light fixture. And many, many times when realtor and buyers have gone two different directions around the house to try to find out uh, where the magical lockbox has been placed. Sometimes it's put on a fence or a gate or in a back door. And um, if at all possible, you just really wanna make it simple and make sure that the key inside is very easy for the realtor to operate so we don't miss a showing uh, because they can't get the door open. If it won't work on the front door, which sometimes it doesn't, uh, just because the doorknob or the screen door, maybe it won't work. So then our second choice would be to put it on a bike cable wrapped around a pillar, uh, or it can go on a handrail. We don't prefer to put it like on a park bench because if the park bench, let's say, gets sold or moved before we're done getting the property sold and closed, there goes the lockbox. It has a couple of cool features, one of which is we can uh, do a lockout on the internet so that the box can't be accessed, say, after 9 p.m. or before 7 a.m. because we won't have showings during those time periods anyway. So if that makes you feel more comfortable, you can always request that So as well. just a few tips on keys. The last thing you want to do is be the seller that lets the realtor and the buyers in. It's just very awkward for the buyers and you don't want to have that one weird property that was so such a different experience from all the other houses they looked at that day. So highly recommend this lockbox, not a combination lockbox. Again, that's more for a foreclosure property. It doesn't set the right stage for selling your home for top dollar. And uh, this is a very secure system. If you have any questions, talk to Ambrose team. You know where to reach us. You can call 316-773-SOLD, text, email, find us on the internet, and thanks so much.